Welcome to the Daily Brigandi. In 1934, the greatest players in Major League Baseball went on a trip across the Pacific all the way to Japan to play the Japanese All-Stars. They went there for weeks, they played many All-Star games, and here we have a relic from that trip. Every player was given one of these, and you're gonna notice the names right off the top. We have Babe Ruth, Connie Mack, we, if we go down a little bit here, we'll have Lou Gehrig and Jimmy Fox. Um, all these guys were great baseball players at the time, except right here. Now, if you're a baseball fan, you'll notice that signature of Mo Berg. So Mo Berg was not a very good baseball player. In fact, he sucked. He was a really bad baseball player. He was like a second, third string journeyman catcher um, that just kind of kept playing baseball um, and from team to team. And right here, we have a photo of Mo Berg. And... We're going to talk about this today. So this is, in 1923, this is Mo Berg as a rookie. Mo Berg had just graduated out of Princeton uh, just before this was taken. In fact, I'm going to flip it around here. Um, oh, real quick, the baseball team. He played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. They were called the Robins at that point. So if I flip it around here, it's a Conlon photo. And then written on the back here, Mo Berg. And it says, just out of Princeton, 1923. Um, of, or a few weeks out of Princeton, 1923. So this was June of 1923 when this was taken. Uh, again, a Conlon photo, type one, rookie photo. So why are we showing you a photo of a below average or a very poor baseball player from 1923? <clears throat> now, I just showed you the album from the tour of Japan. And the reason he made that team was because he was known as the brainiest guy in baseball. He spoke five to 10 different languages. He read 10 newspapers a day. The OSS, which was the CIA, had recruited him and put him on this all-star team to go to Japan and spy for them. The catcher was a spy. He was basically the James Bond of baseball, if you will. Uh, the man with the golden glove, the man without a golden glove. So he went over to Japan in uh, 1934 to spy um, for the United States as, you know, as a baseball player. So they didn't know at the time that Mo Berg was a third string catcher. They were, you know, he, they must have just thought he was another player. So he goes over, he's got a video camera, he's directed to take a video of all different sites, potential bombing sites, and any other geographical locations, I guess, that the military would need. And of course they did need it because we went to a war in World War II with Japan and uh, his uh, video footage was used and uh, was helpful. Mo Berg would go on to help uh, the military after his uh, baseball career which again wasn't very good. Even in this season, 1923, he only played 47 games as a rookie and had 22 errors, basically committing an error every other game. Again, not a good baseball player, but he's the only guy that people collect, or one of the only guys that people collect that was a very bad baseball player, just because of his historical significance. So this is a really cool item. Again, type one photo from uh, one of the greatest baseball photographers ever, Charles Conlon, and it's a rookie. Um, just real cool item, historical uh, significance through the roof. I uh, just wanted to show it off to you. So thanks for watching The Daily Brigandy. We'll see you tomorrow.